Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and here's finally our highly requested complete tutorial on how to make a tower explosion box. I had uploaded the unboxing video few weeks back and since then many had asked me for a detailed tutorial. So guys, this is gonna be a really long video for sure. Alright, now that you have seen the unboxing of the tower box, let me give you some details. Basically guys, this is a combination of boxes and layers. Here I have made total of 5 layers and 4 boxes. So firstly I made layer A and layer B, after that box 1 and layer 1 and then box 2 and layer 2 and repeated the same. So. I shall show you how I have made it step by step and we shall number the layers and boxes as I have shown here so that it will be easy for you guys to understand which one I am talking about. This may seem to be a lot but as you watch me do, you will get to know it's a super easy method and a perfect gift for any special occasion. Here I am making the tower box for a friend's husband's birthday. So guys, let's get started. But before that, I would like to thank each one of you who have subscribed to my channel and if you haven't yet. Please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is posted. So as I said earlier, let's start with layer A. You need to draw a circle of 11 cm radius and divide it into 6 parts and then Draw two triangles as I'll be showing here. Once that's finished, draw the lines at a height of 15 cm, as I'll be showing next. Guys, meanwhile, I want to give you some details about the chart paper I use. As you can see, I have taken a black thick chart paper here, brought from a local stationery shop. You need to make sure it is about 200 GSM thick, otherwise the boxes and layers will not stay stiff and perfect. 
whereas when you select chart papers for making small greeting cards as seen in the beginning of this video it's better to choose about 150 gsm thickness chart papers as there will be many foldings needed while making them if the sheet is too thick you won't be able to fold them properly all right so now that we have finished drawing them on all six sides let me show you what to do next we need to draw hearts connected to all six gaps between the rectangles for that firstly let's make a heart stencil with proper measurements such as it fits perfectly to each corner so i have taken a normal white paper and first fold it to get the v shape required now that we got the corner shape properly let's fold this into half and draw half of heart shape on one side and cut it out once that's done trace out the heart shape on all six sides using the stencil you can draw lines as i'll be showing you to get the exact middle of the hearts before tracing them so as to place the hearts perfectly in the middle and then cut out the whole layer a from the chart paper as i'll be showing you So, as you have seen, we join the corners to get a hexagon. And now, we need to fold this into a hexagonal box. For that, firstly, we need to score and fold the chart paper wherever I have shown here in dotted lines. You need to fold through the yellow and green dotted line in usual that is normal way whereas the red dotted line that is the middle of every hearts need to be folded inside out it will be more clear as you watch me doing it here i am using a dotting tool to score the lines before folding if you don't have one at home 
you can also use an inkless ball pen. Well, if you want to know what scoring meant to be, it's just making foldings easier by pressing onto the line without cutting it through. This process must be done for neat folds and finally to get a perfect box. So after scoring, as you have seen here, I have folded the hearts first and then the rectangular parts. While folding the chart papers, I made sure to keep it neat and well pressed by using a scale or a set square. After this is done, you can rub off the pencil marks to get a neater look. And then it's time to stick on decorative or colored papers onto layer A according to whatever theme or occasion you are making the box for. As I had told you guys, since this is a gift from wife to husband for his birthday, I would go for red hearts here, along with blue and violet cards. 
I always prefer making my very own decorative sheets for most of my works. So here, I am coloring a white paper with red, violet and pink acrylic colors and giving strokes in a certain pattern along with golden color. Once this dries out, I cut them out in a slightly smaller size from the previous hearts we had cut out for layer A. So for that, I take the previous heart stencil and sketch out a bit smaller size and cut it out and trace them onto the decorative sheet and cut them out and stick onto the hearts on layer A as I'll be showing here. Alright guys, here we are almost finished with layer A. So as you can see, I have put on red hearts and blue rectangular sheets on all 6 sides. You might have noticed me using glue gun to stick blue sheets on, whereas normal paper glue for sticking on the red hearts. Well, I do this way for a simple reason guys. It is always better to stick normal thickness papers with the paper glue which is of course normally done but when it comes to thicker chart papers it's better to use glue gun as you get neat and fast gluing done and the paper won't seem too wavy unlike when you use paper glue but if you don't have a glue gun it's totally fine guys paper glue can itself be used for all the gluing needed in making this tower box and after that's done as shown here, I have used a silver marker pen to draw the outlines and later on, I glued waterfall card and some photos to complete the layer A, which you will be able to see in the beginning of this video. Now that we are done with layer A, let's get into layer B. The process is absolutely the same. Here, let's take the radius 9 cm and height 11 cm and repeat the whole process we have done for layer A.
As you might have noticed, here instead of photos, I have decided to give few love quotes using the same silver pen I used earlier. Alright guys, so this is how it looks when layer B is kept on layer A. Our next step is to make lids for layer A and B. So firstly, let's make the lid for layer A. As the radius taken for layer A was 11 cm, we need to take measurements slightly bigger than that. Therefore, I am taking a radius of 12.5 cm and a height of 8 cm for the layer A lid. As you have seen, the process is exactly the same until here. Now we need to connect all the rectangular parts together. After that, cut out the whole thing from the chart paper. And then cut out just like I will be showing here on all 6 sides and then to the other side getting a flip which you will be scoring and then sticking together to get a hexagonal box. It will be more clear to you as you watch me doing it. Guys, this exact process is also used for the boxes of this tower explosion box which you will be seeing later.
our layer A lid is done and fits perfectly as you can see. Now that we are done with layer A lid, let's make the lid for layer B, which again is the exact same process. Here the layer B was 9 cm radius, so we take a radius of 10 cm for the lid and the height of 6 cm. Alright guys, so we are done with layer A and layer B and the lids for both the layers. So now it's time to make box 1. So here again as the box 1 is kept on layer B which was 9 cm let's take it in slightly smaller radius. As we go up with the boxes and layers the sizes keep decreasing as each one fits into the other. So here let's take radius of 8 cm and height 10 cm for box 1. And again, the process is exactly as how we made the lids for layer A and B. So as box 1 is done, we need the layer 1 which is to be kept inside box 1. Again it is the same process, so I have shown you once it is done. And here I have taken the radius as 7.9 cm and the same height of 10 cm. I am sticking violet chart papers for this layer on all 6 sides and now to fit layer 1 into box 1. Firstly, we fold it and keep it inside to make sure it goes in perfectly and we need it to come up this way. For that, keep the box one upside down and cut a slit in the middle using a pen knife. Now, we need to insert a ribbon through the slit, making sure the ribbon is stuck properly at the slit of the box one. Keep the box upright and pull the ribbon through the slit. And now keep layer 1 upside down onto the box 1 and give a slit in the middle 
using a pen knife again. After that, we need to pull the ribbon through the slit of layer 1, as I'll be showing here. So guys, that's how you connect the layer and the box together with a ribbon. Now here I have made box 2 and layer 2. As the method is familiar to you now, I shall give you the measurements I have taken here. The box 2 is of radius 7 cm and height 10 cm and the layer 2 is 6.9 cm radius and height of 10 cm again. So, I shall show you the process of connecting layer and box with the ribbon one more time. As our box 1 and box 2 are ready, now let's stick box 2 onto box 1 as I am showing here. Now let's go for box 3 and layer 3. Here again. As it goes into a smaller size, the box 3 is 6 cm radius and the height is 8 cm. And the layer 3 is of 5.9 cm radius and the height again is 8 cm. So once again let's connect the box and layer together with the ribbon. After box 3 and layer 3 is done, I have made a small hexagonal box of 5 cm radius and a height of 7 cm with a lid of 5.5 cm radius and height of 3 cm to fit inside box 3. So now we stick box 3 onto box 2. Let's add a floral ribbon onto the smallest hexagonal box. Here I have made a few hearts connected onto a ribbon and put it in the box giving a pull out effect when it's opened. For that stick on the end part inside the box 
and fold heart by heart to fit it inside the box and stick the other end onto the lid. Alright guys, now let's attach all these together to form our hexagonal tower box. Firstly, stick layer B onto layer A and then the whole box and layer we made onto the layer B as I'll be showing you here. That's all guys, our hexagonal tower box is all done. I have made a tuxedo card to stick onto the main lid giving a small message for the person receiving the gift. All the tutorial video links for the cards I have made for this hexagonal tower box is given in the description box below. I hope this tutorial was easy and useful for you guys. If you want to see more of my craft works, check on at zacks underscore crafts on Instagram and more tutorial videos in my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching guys and please don't forget to like, share and comment and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Until next video, happy crafting!